What's up dudes, welcome back to learning Kali and Linux as a whole. Uh, today we are going to be looking at how to make the uh, desktop feel a little bit better. Uh, in my opinion, the default desktop that Kali comes with isn't uh, very user friendly. It, it's not what we're used to if we uh, came from Windows, which a lot of us did. Um, so what we're going to do today is we're actually going to be changing the desktop environment, uh, meaning that we're not just going to like change the background and we're not going to move stuff around. We're actually going to use a completely different uh, quote unquote program to manage our desktop. Um, so the way that we're going to do this is we are going to install a desktop environment called KDE. Uh, so first off, we need to open up the terminal as always very important um, first thing that we want to do is sudo app update and then uh, if it finds things that need to be updated then you will do a uh, sudo apt upgrade uh, mine was really fast because I did this before the video um, but you know this will take a couple minutes usually when you you know if you haven't done it very recently um, so go ahead and do that and then we are going to need to install the KDE desktop. So we are going to be installing Kali-desktop-KDE uh, and Kali actually has a bunch of different uh, options as far as desktop environments and window managers are concerned um, you can find that in the Kali Linux documentation I'll, I'll show you that later in the video uh, but for now we're just going to do the KDE desktop so we're going to go ahead and hit enter and as you can see I've actually already got mine uh, installed but I do want to I do want to do it again just so I can show you guys the full process. So I'm going to uninstall it first. And then I'm going to reinstall it because there is one very important thing that is going to come up um, when you install KDE for the first time. So now I'm going to go ahead and install it. And this is what you guys will see. And once you get through the install or halfway through it's going to say this um, so first off you're going to want to if 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 ok is not highlighted already you can click the right arrow on your keyboard to highlight ok um, and it will bring you to this screen asking you to choose your default display manager um, light dm and sddm uh, obviously we're installing kde and that's not even an option here um, so the first thing that you should probably do if you're not watching this video, um, or if you're, you know, installing a different manager and you, and you don't know what to do is Google it. Um, in my case, that's exactly what I did. And I found out that the default display manager for KDE is SDDM. So we're going to select that. And what a display manager actually is, is the... Um, it will part of it is the screen that you see when you log in so it's going to change our login screen a little bit um, so now that that is all installed there is one more thing that we need to do before it's actually going to just work uh, we need to type sudo update dash alternatives dash dash config x dash session dash manager and this will allow us to actually select what desktop environment that we want to use and currently it is on xfce which is the default desktop manager that comes with kali linux um, so we are going to switch it over to start plasma dash x11 and again this is it, it is it doesn't say kde anywhere so it might be a little bit tough um but if you do a little bit of research on KDE, uh, you'll find that it's actually called KDE Plasma, or at least this version of KDE. So we're going to select that one. So all we have to do is find the selection number, which is one in this case, and type it in here and press enter. And that will select KDE Plasma as our desktop environment. 
So now we can reboot the system. So go ahead and just type reboot in the terminal. Uh, this is just a nice quick way to reboot. And it'll reboot. But when we actually get to the login screen here, you're going to see that it is different than what you normally see when you log into Kali. Um, in my opinion, it looks better. Uh, I think it looks a little bit more modern um, and a little bit more uh, comfortable, I guess, than the, than the default XFCE, which I feel is a little cold and... Uh, a little too simple I don't know it doesn't feel as cozy to me but this this feels really nice and modern and now we can type in our password and log in and we will get the new brand new KDE desktop that we just installed uh, obviously we're gonna have the same background but we can change that at any point if we want to but the most important thing is that things look a little bit different and maybe a little bit more like Windows if you if you came from Windows. Um, so first thing is the toolbar is now at the bottom. Uh, one of my favorite things is when you open up, you know, a program, say Firefox, um, you can just open and close it by clicking that icon again. Um, in in the normal XFCE install uh, you don't get that you actually get an extra icon that you have to click to maximize and minimize and it ends up you know I end up opening the same program multiple times because I'm used to Windows this is how Windows works um, so that's really nice also uh, the default text editor if you open that up is called Kate um, and it's a little bit different than you know the default text editor in XFCE uh, this one I do like a little bit more as well. You've, you've got some, some better task managing uh, as far as like you, you can open up multiple uh, different tabs. Uh, you still have the line numbers, which I really like. Um, but yeah, so Kate is cool. Uh, you also have a different uh, file manager here called Dolphin. Um, and this one is actually, if you if you use the Steam Deck, this is what the Steam Deck uses. Um, so this might feel a little bit more familiar to some of you uh, if you have a Steam Deck and you've and you've experimented with the desktop mode. Um, and I believe the Steam Deck actually does run KDE Plasma uh, as its main desktop environment as well. So this might be a, a lot more familiar to some of you. Uh, and then you, obviously you've got your start button with all of your stuff here. So that is uh, just a quick way to, well, maybe not quick, but that is the way to switch your desktop environment in Kali Linux. One thing that you do want to do before um, you log off again, um, KDE can cause some uh, conflicts with the default XFCE desktop environment. So when you install KDE, you actually want to uninstall XFCE. So how you do that is you do sudo sudo apt purge dash dash auto remove Kali dash desktop dash XFCE. Press enter, type in your password, click yes or type Y. and it will uninstall XFCE from your system and you will now be a KDE user. Also, you'll notice that maybe maybe you can't see the console very well because I haven't uh, configured it yet. I do apologize if you couldn't see what I typed in right there. Um, for this, you go up to settings and you can do uh, manage profiles or create new profile, I'll actually just do a create new profile here. So settings, create new profile, and then you can change the appearance. You can give the profile a name. Uh, please sub, yes. Uh, appearance, we like the green on black, it's very visible. Um, I'm gonna up the font size to like 16, maybe 17, just so you guys can see it a little bit better. Okay, apply, there we go much better. So we now have 
a brand new desktop environment and in my opinion looks a little bit better works a little bit better uh, and you can experiment with these there's like I said quite a few different ones um, if you look at the Kali Linux documentation uh, I believe it is under uh, just Kali Linux meta packages um, so you should yeah so if you open it up uh, you can just search meta packages and it's this one here uh, and if you scroll down desktop environments and window managers these are all the ones that you can use uh, and then you can see whether or not they are desktop environments or window managers um, feel free to experiment with these window managers are a little bit different uh, than desktop environments as far as uh, what they do how they work how they're installed um, so I'll go over that next time uh, but for now go ahead and experiment and feel free to Google if you break something I broke this desktop environment like 20 times while I was trying to make this video so uh, definitely don't feel bad about totally messing up your system um, this is a virtual machine so the very worst case scenario is you reinstall the virtual machine and try again um so yeah take care guys and until next time